Today we're going to talk about the Stanley 69. It sits in between the 66 and the 72 and a half. Uh, the 69 is a bead planer in the Stanley range. It's the third bead planer. It is a freehand style bead planer, kind of like the 66, whereas the 66 does have an option for a fence being added to the bottom to guide it. The 69 does not have this option. The expectation was that as you use the 69 freehand, you would be able to bead freehand and not necessarily just in a straight line. You'd be able to go on the surface of the timber anywhere you liked, creating curved beads, tight curves, loose curves, come around in bow shapes, whatever you wanted to do. If you needed a straight line, the expectation was that you would bolt a or clamp a piece of timber or a straight edge onto your working surface and run along. One of the big things as advertised was that you could use it inside the uh, recess section of a, a door or cupboard uh, inside the frame to create a bead where you hadn't put one before. Obviously you could put the bead in place before you fitted the panel into the door uh, with a 66 or um, you could even utilize a 45 or a 55 um, or something similar which instead of being a scraper blade is a cutting blade uh, still creates a bead though um, but as far as a scraper blade beading plate it was considered to be one that was quite versatile and able to be utilized very easily uh, and fluidly there is a flaw with the device in that the handle is connected to the plane by a ferrule and with the pushing uh, there is quite a bit of pressure against it and that did cause the ferrule to split in some cases. Uh, the blades are the same that are used in the 66 or the 72 and a half so those blades are interchangeable between all three planes. <coughs> um, but they're very hard to come by today in fact there was one just recently on eBay. It's the second one I've seen on eBay. Both of them have gone in the vicinity of uh, $600 in Australian currency. Um, neither of them were in Australia. They were both uh, in uh, United States. They are very rare, very hard to come by, and certainly hard to come by without that barrel broken. To find one in good condition is, is a lucky find indeed. Not one that I think I will ever own. Uh, I tend to use my planes and it's just not one that I think I would use enough to warrant paying that sort of money. If you're an avid collector and you want to collect every plane in the list, certainly this is one to keep your eye out for. If you find a good one, grab it because you probably won't see a good one again for quite some time. It's kind of like the number one Stanley planes. They're out there, but good luck finding them because there are a number of people that have got their eyes out and will snaffle them up as soon as they see them broken feral or not. Um, the plane is a cute little unit, uh, would certainly look good on the shelf and be a bit of a talking piece but like I say for me uh, I just can't justify spending 600 Australian dollars on a plane that I am never going to use. Um, or use once as, as a bit of a gimmick and then put it on the shelf. Uh, so that one would complete your beading plane collection with the scraper blades. And from that standpoint, if you're a collector, uh, good luck to you if you can find one. But whether you're a collector displayer or a collector user, happy hunting.